Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I'd like to show you one of my favorite summertime things. It's a radish sandwich and all you need is a baguette, some softened butter, some sea salt or kosher salt or this flaky wonderful Malden salt, and some radishes. And I have radishes outside in the herb garden. So come join me and we'll pluck a few. So what I have here are French breakfast radishes. And let's have a look. Ah, beautiful, can you see? So it's a pinkish red on top and white at the root. And even the leaves are edible on all radishes. And we'll just grab a few of these. Oh, maybe five. Lovely bunch. And at the other end of the bed, I have some common round radishes. Wait, these look terrific as well. I'll clean these up and then I'll meet you back in the kitchen. Okay, my radishes are all cleaned and I did cut off the tail end as well as the stem end. So now we can move on to the baguette. Well, to save time on this video, I cut the bread into four quarters and then I cut each quarter lengthwise this way to make butterflies. When you cut the bread like this, it means you can eat the sandwich with one hand while the other hand is holding a goblet of wine. And to prepare the radishes, you want to slice them very thinly. And for this, you'll want to use a mandolin. I'm using the number two setting on this Xylus mandolin. And of course I'm using the hand guard so I don't slice off my fingers. And let me show you the radishes there, nice and thin. Now, if you're dealing with the more oblong shaped French breakfast radishes, you can slice them sideways like this. Then for each sandwich, generously butter the bread and you'll find the buttering job goes very quickly if you use an offset spatula. Then arrange the radishes on the bread, just one side of the bread, and then sprinkle the radishes with either your kosher or your sea salt or your Malden salt. And the salt is going to make the radishes turn mild. It's going to take away some of the bite and just make the radishes super delicious. And this next step is entirely up to you. You can serve the sandwich as is, just close it, or you could throw a few uh, small leaves of arugula on top and then close up the sandwich, wrap it up in wax paper if you're taking this on a picnic, or just eat it right now. Bottoms up. Now, many years ago, when a friend in Paris offered me a radish sandwich, my initial reaction was, well, yuck. But after one bite, I quickly realized that butter, salt, and a good baguette is all a radish needs to make it sing. So maybe you'll sing too if you give this sandwich a try. I'll see you soon with another delicious recipe. Bye for now. Yum.